What's up everybody? This is Parker from the Fast Foodies and I'm back with yet another Taco Bell review. Now I was actually at Taco Bell last week reviewing the, oh the new chicken cantina tacos. If you haven't seen that review, I'll put a card up in one of these corners you can click on. Oh, and if you're watching this and you aren't subscribed to the Fast Foodie channel, definitely recommend hitting that subscribe button because besides being kept up to date on the latest snacks, fast food, cereals, whatever it may be, you'll also be joining the Fast Foodie Nation. But as I was saying, I was reviewing the Chicken Cantina Tacos, and then after the review, I was talking to Darion, the guy who was working there, and I asked him, Darion, is Taco Bell gonna be coming out with anything new in the next upcoming week or so? He said, Parker, you're definitely gonna to wanna to come back next week. We have something that is gonna blow your mind. So that's what I did. I went back today and he wasn't mistaken. Taco Bell is trying to combine Flamin' Hot Doritos tacos to create the new Flamin' Hot Dorito Logo Taco. Now there are actually two versions of this taco. There's the regular and then there's a the Supreme Dorito Loco Taco. And I actually ended up going with the Supreme version just because the Supreme one, it comes with sour cream. And uh, yeah, my stomach, I enjoy spicy food, but my stomach just doesn't enjoy spicy food too much. I actually get that from my dad. My dad always has issues um, after eating some spicy food. He always has to make a date with the toilet after eating some spicy food. So I'm really hoping that that sour cream helps dim down that spiciness, that heat. No! This nacho, this Dorito Loco Taco. But if it doesn't, I did come prepared. I do have some Pepto Bismol on the ready, just in case things get a little too spicy. But enough of that, I think it's time we find out just how loco this taco is. right there that sour cream it also comes with cheese but I do wish the cheese was a cheese sauce I am finding however that sour cream I am very happy that I went with the supreme version because that sour cream as I was hoping does help taper down does help dim the heat just a bit just enough of that loco taco to make it manageable for me personally so if you guys are like me or my dad and your stomach just doesn't agree with spicy food, I definitely recommend getting the Supreme version. But if you guys like some spice, some extra heat in your life, go for it. Go for the regular version. See what it's like. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys do find that out. But besides that, you got good amount of uh, beef there on the bottom. Could have a little bit more, I guess, because there is quite a bit of lettuce on top. I do like the tomatoes though. The tomatoes add a little bit of freshness. Yeah, overall. I mean, the shell. I could talk about the shell, but I think we all know what a flaming Hot Dorito tastes like. And that's pretty much what the shell is. It's a big flaming Hot Dorito. For ratings, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. I can't say for sure, but I could probably give the regular version something closer to like a 6.5 or a seven because I really am enjoying that sour cream. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys have tried this Dorito Loco Taco, let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought. And I'll see you guys in the next one. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you wanna become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram Follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review.